We will see. I won't see because I'm probably not going to be watching, but the people will see. Um, and listen, why? <laughs> I wish people could see your face right now. <laughs> What's the matter? You want to – you? I feel like I'm going to throw a swerve at you. It was going to be the enforcer's hot take, but I think to pep you up a little bit, I want to get a shooting with the stallion segment. But I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to get to that. I want to give people – their match of the week last week. And I have a tie, Joe. I've got a tie. Um, first match of the week, I literally just watched about three hours ago. Shingo versus Tomohiro Ishii. Oh, man. Every single thing you want in a pro wrestling match. If you want two big, thick dudes clotheslining the hell out of each other, punching each other in the face, dropping each other on the head, the crowd's going crazy. It was a phenomenal match i am so in on shingo ishii has been the mvp of my life uh it was been just a, such a great i think it was night 16 i don't even it was last night so it was uh august 8th that was my uh one match of the week a one b match of the week is from a couple weeks ago um it is walter versus Ilya dragunov from uh progress i think it was 92 yeah i think it was progress 92 Walter defended his title, um, his Progress World title. Dude, Ilya Dragunov in back-to-back nights put on back-to-back match of the year candidates. The first was Jordan Devlin, which was a match of the week last week, and this week it was against Walter. I mean, it was hard-hitting. You believed Dragunov was going to win that title. Spoiler, he did not. Um, but it was uh, – the whole time it was just the story of Dragunov had Walter's number – before progress, Walter turned into a beast, and Dragunov just couldn't beat him, and it was one hell of a match, Joe. What do you got for us on your match of the week? I think that maybe um, in our next production meeting for the show, we should review the criteria for matches of the week. I'm just going to put that out there. So um, uh, It was like nine days ago. Okay. Is that? I don't know. I just what I heard was my match of the week was from a few weeks ago. That's what I heard. I just want I just want to make sure that we can revisit that, you know, out in our next production meeting when we have, you know, all the suits and everybody in there to talk about, you know, our format for the show going forward. My Touché. Match... It was actually from okay. It was July 7th. That's You know what? Here's my new thing. I watched it this week. It's my match of the week. Well, that's the that's thing. My I, new rule. That's what I wanted to. I figured we could talk about, you know, what the criteria is. If it's, it's something that we've watched this week, has the match occurred this week? You know, I don't. I, that's what I figured we can we can workshop that. Workshopped it on there. If you watched it this week, I don't care if it was from 1965. It's your match of the week. Okay. So I can put that, like Jake Roberts versus Rick Rude as my match of the week if I want to do that. Dude, so I'm sold. Do it. Okay. All right. My real match of the week is going to be the Briscoes versus Dragon Lee and Roosh from ROH TV. I would. Uh, Check that out if anybody has subscription to Honor Club or gets Ring of Honor television via their cable subscription. Um, it was a very solid main event on ROH TV this, this past week. So, I will Well, it's funny you brought up the Briscoes because if you're, you're sitting here and you're watching the show and you're saying, Enforcer, what the hell do I watch this week? There's so much great wrestling on. Ring of Honor, Honor Club, Tomorrow Night, Summer Sizzle, Spick. Spectacular, big bash. Not sure the name of the show. However, Briscoes versus the G.O.D. in a ladder war. We were front and center for the Manhattan Mayhem match that was not a ladder war. And people, everybody almost died. Kind of like Lance Archer, everybody dies. That match was unbelievable. Mark Briscoe took some of the craziest bumps. It was it, The crowd was so hot for it. I am so excited for tomorrow. It has to be the blow for the feud. And I would assume that's the end of G.O.D. and Ring of Honor. But the Briscoes have to win tomorrow night, and it's going to be an amazing match. So for me, what to watch for this week is Ladder War tomorrow night. Briscoes defending the Ring of Honor tag titles against the G.O.D. Yeah, and I guess I'll just tack on to that the uh, the finals of the G1, right? I mean, that's coming up over uh, the weekend. I think it's going to be maybe Sunday night into Monday. Um, so there's two more shows left in the uh, regular part of the tournament. Um, night 17, night 18, and then uh, the finals will be, I believe, on the 12th, which is Monday. So 
um, between the Ring of Honor tomorrow night, as you mentioned, and then NXT Saturday, SummerSlam on Sunday, there's a couple of G1 cards mixed in there, and then the uh, the finals on Monday. So I'm going to say I'll throw that in for additional viewing pleasure. That's that's a great call. I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, the other thing I want to let everybody know is if you're, you know, you hear me talking about these progress matches and you're like, man, I... I always wanted to get into progress. I hear all these things. WWE is poaching talent from progress for NXT left and right. I want to see where these guys came from. I, the enforcer, have news for you. Powerslam.tv. You're going to go ahead and use our promo code, ours. It's all night long. You get your first 30 days of Powerslam.tv for free. Do you know how much wrestling you could watch in 30 days? You could watch Progress Chapter 1 through 93 and be caught up and talk progress with us. Powerslam.tv. Use your promo code all night long and make sure you tweet us and let us know you did. Powerslam.tv. Those guys are really good. They have so many different programs on there. For, I, I can't list them all. You have CZW. You have some old Evolve stuff. You've got Progress, uh, OTT, which is Joe's new favorite promotion. So much going on. Powerslam.tv. Use promo code all night long. And now, before you click subscribe and before you go to our social media and you type at all night long WP and you like, you rate, you review, you subscribe, you do everything you can. You go to Facebook.com slash all night long wrestling podcast. You go to YouTube.com slash all night long wrestling podcast. You put us over everywhere. You click like on all our videos before you do that, before I let you go, before I tell you that we're tapping out, before anything, right now, we're shooting with the stallion. Well, on the spot. Well, I have to tell you, Mike, um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that enrage me on a daily basis. Um, this is that so really get into my skin. I have to, I have to admit that. Um, I like to watch as much wrestling as I, as I can in my, in my free time. So I do spend time watching all the stuff that we talk about, like the G1, um, you know, NXT, ROH, um, OTT. But I do still watch the main roster product in, uh, as much as I possibly can. Mostly Raw. I, I admit, right? The, the, the shoot of it is I watch Raw, and I really don't see SmackDown. I have to tell you that after several months of watching Monday Night Raw, I am severely irritated by Becky Lynch. I have had more than enough of this woman on TV every single week. She seems arrogant. Um, overconfident. She does things that I feel a heel would do. And I really don't care about her stupid CrossFit boyfriend, Seth Rollins. I don't. I don't need to hear about that on TV every week. I'm tired of her crap. And I guess just to follow up on my point from earlier, I am rooting for Natalia heavily to win the Raw Women's title on Sunday and make Becky Lynch tap out or pass out somehow, to the sharpshooter. That is my shooting with the Stein segment for this week. The 1980 men's Olympic hockey team, the 1994 New York Rangers beating the Vancouver Canucks, the 1995 Dallas Cowboys beating the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Matt Serra knocking out George St. Pierre. Uh, Those events were the hardest I've celebrated personally until until that segment right there that shooting with the stallion that was the best segment ever I could not agree with you more I'm totally with you about CrossFit Jesus Seth Rollins I agree with everything you say and you know I've been on team Natalia Joe tell the people how long have I been on team Natalia You've been you've been a staunch Natalia supporter for many years. I've been championing championing Natalia Neidhart. I I am so happy you said what you said. Oh, I could. This is this is the best episode of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast ever. We're gonna end this show on a high note. Thank you everybody for listening again. At All Night Long WP everywhere you go. Tomorrow night depends when you listen to this. Friday night I should say I'll be live tweeting the uh, Ring of Honor show and we'll be live tweeting during the NXT show. Um, I also want Joe's hot take to be tweeted out during SummerSlam. So if Joe, if you do stay awake for the entire SummerSlam show, I want to hear about it of that uh, Becky Lynch. And Natalia Neidhart match. 
Um, for The Stallion, I'm The Enforcer. Another edition of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast is in the books, and we are tapping out.